In the previous video, we saw how to perform delete operations. In this video, we'll look at how to retrieve multiple records of data through query expression. So the serves.retrieve will only retrieve one record. Now if you want to retrieve multiple records, then you'll need to use query expression or fetch XML methods. So let's start off with query expression. So let's imagine a scenario where I want to retrieve all the contacts related to an account. Since account and contact have a one-to-end -end relationship, that is, one account can have multiple contacts. I cannot use the serves.retrieve method because uh, as I said, like the serves.retrieve will retrieve only one record. So in these kind of scenarios, I'll have to use query expression or fetch XML. So let's start off by uh, retrieving all the contacts of an account using query expression method. Okay, so to do that, so to uh, write a query expression, the first thing which I need to do is declare a new query expression object. Is equal to new query expression. And within the brackets, I need to mention the schema name of the uh, entity which I want to retrieve. In my case, I want to retrieve contact. So the schema name for contacts is contact. So to uh, retrieve the schema name, you can like, you know, go to customize the system and like, you know, follow the procedure which I had mentioned in the earlier videos. Okay. So, so now I have declared a new query expression object of the type contact. Okay. So that means that I'm going to retrieve the contact records. The next, so the next thing which I want to do is I need to mention the fields which I want to retrieve. So to do that, I use the column set namespace similar to uh, retrieve, like how we have column set over here for retrieve. Similar. Just say new column set inside which I'll mention the fields which I want to retrieve. So in my case, I'm going to be retrieving full name, telephone one, parent customer ID. So the parent customer ID is the field which I'm going to be using to check if it's related to the account. Credit limit. And that's it. Got to end it with a semicolon. And now I need to start mentioning my criteria. My criteria is simple. I need to check if the contact is belonging to that account. So to do that, we need to do the following. To add a to add a condition, I need to say query expression. That is a local object query. The local object of the uh, of the type query expression dot criteria dot add condition. Inside this, I mention new condition criteria. I'm sorry, condition expression. And inside the brackets, I start mentioning the criteria. The first thing which I want to mention is the field which I want to check. I want to check the parent customer ID field. to check if it's equal so I use the condition operator dot equal to the context dot primary entity ID 
and I end it with a semicolon. So basically what this is doing is, is checking if the entity reference field parent customer ID is referencing my context.primary entity ID record. Okay. Since we are running it on the account entity, I can just use the uh, context.primary entity ID. So uh, for entity reference field, if you use dot equal, it will just uh, check the quid of that uh, entity reference record. Okay. All right. Now I've mentioned my conditions. Now what I need to do is I need to declare an object of the type entity collection. is equal to use the I organization source object dot retrieve multiple inside the brackets I need to mention the query name which is query expression that's it this is how you write a query expression now you can keep adding the uh, criteria all you need to do is all you need to do is just uh, keep mentioning one below the other so if you're not mentioning any operator then by default it is just going to be using the and operator that is if i mention one more condition over here it will only retrieve the records which satisfies this condition and this condition which i'm going to be mentioning here if you want to declare it as an or you got to mention it specifically okay so yeah this is basically how you write a query expression okay so some of the advantages and disadvantages of query expression advantages include um, the fact that it uses the object oriented style of coding so uh, you have distinct classes for query conditions columns etc so anyone who's familiar with object oriented style of coding will find it easy to uh, write a query expression and you also have the intelligent support like uh, like how we have this predictive uh, like how we have this predictive uh, keyboard that is intelligence so uh, we have that support and uh, disadvantages is that uh, it cannot retrieve uh, data from the related entities so say my contact entity in my organization is related to the user entity okay and um, now i want to retrieve both the contact entity uh, records and the user entity records then by using query expression i cannot do that i can only retrieve either the contact or the user if i want to retrieve the user uh, records then i need to write a separate query expression so that is a disadvantage of query expression in the next video we'll look at how to retrieve multiple records of data through fetch expression